members, I'm Zach Knudsen reporting from Class Center. We hope you've enjoyed your J-Term classes and winter break. Today we'll be giving you a recap of what happened during J-Term, including the several study abroad trips. We have a feature of the Hamlin radio programs, followed by what Pipers did this past month. All this coming up. Hello Pipers, Taylor here, telling you what's going on around campus. Today I'll be giving you the inside scoop on what's going on inside the Hamlin radio booth. I sat down with student DJs Jeremiah and Alan to get their take on this one-of-a-kind club. Yo, 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 welcome to H Radio. Um, my name is Jeremiah, welcome, Captain Africa. Um, thank you again for tuning in to Weekly Dose of an African. I'm um, just going to play some songs for you guys. We have different topics today. Uh, by the way, if you want us to answer any questions for you, feel free to post it up on the Facebook page. Um, what I would like to achieve by doing this, really, it's a one-hour show once a week. So. I mean, different people might say that's such a little time, um, but to me, I feel like it's a huge commitment. Um, it's a way for me to get to know different people on campus. It's a way for me to get to know um, basically myself. Share my, my music with people who go to Hamlin and also uh, uh, friends and family who listen. Just be able to share the music with them and just truly enjoy my time, you know, doing this. There's not necessarily any you know, academic goals or anything uh, coming out of a radio show, but it's just really to be able to speak in front of a microphone, not be insanely terrified of speaking in front of a microphone, and be comfortable with it is very important because I hope to be going into the audio industry, I guess you could say, in the future. So. I need to be able to speak in front of a microphone, do interviews, stuff like that. That was my overall goal, is just try to do this and have a good time. Hi everyone, it's Khan from the Papa Report. Welcome back and I hope that you guys all enjoy your J-Term. This J-Term, some Hamlin students decided to go study abroad in four different countries, which are Thailand, England, Poland, and Germany, and Jamaica. Some of them kept a detailed record of their travels on an online blog. Each student was granted the opportunity to share their day-to-day adventures in their respective countries, while also reflecting their changes in identity and the history of a richly diverse country. PFLAG, or parents, family, and friends of lesbian and gays, held their second annual conference in the Anderson Center on January 18th. Students, parents, and school counselors from across the region came to help curb bullying of GLBT students by listening to stories and attending workshops. The conference titled Cultivating Respect, Safe Schools for All Students included the Invisible Athlete Forum, moderated by Philadelphia Flyer Scout Patrick Burke, which was a panel of gay and lesbian athletes presenting their personal stories. Included in the panel were Ezra Tuallo, former NFL player for the Minnesota Vikings and Green Bay Packers, as well as author of Along in the Trenches, My Life as a Gay Man in the NFL. Nick Clyden, former member of the Breck High School hockey team who came out as a gay man in his 2012 senior speech, and Becca Lundquist, a former NCAA champion rower at the University of California, Berkeley, and University of California, Davis, and co-founder of the Cal Student Athlete Gay Straight Alliance. <laughs> In the locker room, the language, and what I tell people now that we, I know that's how it used to be, but we have to change it. If you stayed on campus for J-Term, you might have noticed that a campus is looking a little emptier than usual. Most students have gone home to enjoy extended breaks, and the students who aren't at home are bunkering down to do some serious studying for their J-Term classes. But even so, there are plenty of things to do on campus, and students are keeping themselves busy. Let's take a look and see what those pipers are up to. I'm Noelle, and I decided to stay on campus this straight term because I have two internships that I'm working. One is with the Web Communications Department here at Hamlin, and the other is with General Mills. I stayed on campus for J-Term to train with my team for track. I'm on campus for J-Term to hang out with my good friends. Uh, I'm taking a J-Term uh, to basically, you know, to take a class from a major. You know, I'm double majoring, so J-Term is a perfect opportunity for me to actually get ahead of my major. I'm double majoring in Econ and Poli Sci, and I'm taking stats. And I get to work a lot. You know, I get to work like 30 hours a week at my job, make a lot of money, live on, live in a place that I'm already paying for to stay all year. So, you know, that's why I'm staying here for J-Term. I'm on campus for J-Term to GSD, get stuff done. 
Thanks for watching the J-Term edition of the Piper Report. We appreciate you tuning in. With the spring semester just around the corner, we wish you the best of luck on your studies. I'm Zach Newton, reporting from Class Center. Remember, keep it classy, Pipers. We'll see you next time.